The new does not play well with the old. In fact, it will tear it up, which is why you gotta let it go. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I speak from the room of Holy Ghost worship. I occupy this space. John chapter 4 and verse 24 says God is a spirit or literally God the Spirit God the Spirit God is a spirit and they that worship who him him, him who him God the Spirit so who is God the Spirit the Holy, the Holy Ghost and they that worship him say they that worship him they that worship is that too difficult to understand no. so you have some people you could call them they and they are the ones that worship him you have other groups of people and they don't mm -hmm. do you know any of these mm -hmm. the ones who don't worship him are not the they that worship him does that make sense yeah. these words mean something now when I began worshiping the Holy Ghost as God I began doing something that I didn't before I was in that other group that didn't worship him mm -hmm. and then when I began to worship him I became a they that mm -hmm. did worship him yeah. and I became something listen I became something that I wasn't before mainly I became a Holy Ghost worshiper and doing that took me to a place that I wasn't before and couldn't go to mm -hmm. because I wasn't a they that I wasn't worshiping in the right way now notice it says here God is a spirit we know who that is that's God the Spirit the Holy Ghost and they that worship him right mm -hmm. must worship him in spirit and in truth we never got to the in spirit and truth part because we didn't worship God the Spirit there's a lot more in that than I think you think there is we never got to the spirit and truth part because we never worshiped God the Spirit but now I occupy this space and I'm calling you in mm -hmm. and you weren't here before you heard this message and if you don't worship him God the Spirit the Holy Ghost then I can't help you but if you do say if I do, if I do. and continue say and continue. and continue so if you do worship him and you continue to worship him then I can help you and I intend to take you with me into all the things that God the Holy Ghost has for us in this day Luke chapter 4 verse 8 Jesus said it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve thou shalt that's you that's me thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve I present to you that if you don't do the worship part you can't get to the only him serving part mm -hmm. you will never get here into this room of Holy Ghost worship unless you do the worship part first mm -hmm. and then picture an arrow pointing to the only him serving part mm. I worship the Lord my God Holy Ghost will worship you and then I'm pointed to only him serving yes. say only, only. Him, serving. him serving so worship takes you to the only 
and to the correct service just like in John chapter 4 verse 24 you remember we read that were you here when we read that yeah. today two minutes ago yeah. so through worship trying to bring you along through worshiping the Holy Ghost as God you enter the only if you don't worship him you'll never get there the Holy Ghost will only be something else to you mm -hmm. but when you worship him listen when you worship him you enter into the only where he becomes everything say he, he becomes, becomes everything. everything and that's good because he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh that one say one, one. and self same spirit so he's one mm -hmm. and he's a self mm -hmm. dividing to every man severally as he will so he's one he's a self mm -hmm. and he has a will most Christianity doesn't even acknowledge that he is a self let alone one with a will say one, one. With, a will. with a will he's one in the earth today and he has a will meaning he does as he wills. oh oh as he will is that in your Bible all these worketh that one in self same spirit dividing every man severally as he will most Christianity does not acknowledge this that the Holy Ghost is one that he is a self let alone does he have a will and yet here we are that here we are he becomes everything say he becomes everything. becomes everything and I intend to take you with me in this space where he becomes everything and someone may ask where are you going you're gonna take me with you where are you going excellent question mm -hmm. second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away meaning and if the veil's taken away what does that mean you see things that you didn't see before mm -hmm. when you worship the Holy Ghost as God the veil is taken away and you begin to see things like you didn't see them before yeah. like verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit you see him the Holy Ghost as the Lord the Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty a liberty you didn't have before because you couldn't see it that way a liberty of belief say liberty, liberty. Of, belief. of belief you can believe things that you couldn't believe before verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord what Lord this spirit lord this holy ghost are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by this same spirit lord where are you going we're going from glory to glory say from glory, from glory. to glory. glory all the way up to and including the enochian transformation yes. and the return of Jesus mm -hmm. and if you can receive it returning with Jesus because yeah. remember he's coming with ten thousands of his saints mm -hmm. some of which would include those who participated in the Enochian transformation are you here and I said if you can receive it but for now say for now. for now for now we're going from glory to glory from one mm -hmm. 
to another what, what does that mean when you go from something mm. it means you leave that one mm -hmm. and you go to the next one yeah. is this too difficult mm -hmm. which means you have to go from it you have to you have to drop it and pick up another one yeah. the new glory is not the old glory the new is not the old say the new, the new is, not is not the old and I'm telling you Holy Ghost worshipers know this what they have moved into is not the old it's not the same as the old it's one of the first things that that presents itself to you in this room in this space that this is not what I was doing before the new is not the old you would think that a, a, a simple statement like that would be so well received no it is the old no it's not the old the new is not the old we went from one thing to another thing and when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost you enter into a new manifestation of the Spirit Lord that is not the old in fact you couldn't get here without worshiping him you remember those verses I read God is a spirit they that worship him get to worship him in spirit and truth yeah. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve worship is what gets you through the door into this other space this other place so we're going to the new we're letting go of the old and the new is not the old That's right. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 16 no man puts a piece of new cloth on an old garment mm. isn't this right mm -hmm. for that which is put in to fill it up takes from the garment and the rent is made worse now if I was writing in Elizabethan English I might have said that differently because that was rough uh -huh. but you understand you don't take a new piece of cloth and put it on an old garment to cover up the hole that was in the old garment because it will tear the old garment and make it worse you understand this right <laughs> this new place you've entered into tears at the old it tears it up and to me it's like fingers on a chalkboard when I hear the old I can't listen to it anymore I don't like it mm -hmm. these two don't play well together the new does not play well with the old in fact it will tear it up yeah. which is why you gotta let it go mm -hmm. and when I here preachers that are not in this room that are not Holy Ghost worshipers it's like listening to someone with their nails on a chalkboard where's the chalkboard let me do an illustration okay. these two are at odds but from my perspective being in the new is it wrong for me to know that what I have and am doing tears at the old mm. are you gonna blame the new for tearing up the old yeah. it's part of what it does yeah. are you here yeah. so you can't feed on the old and expect to thrive in this new space I hope you can hear that you can't continually feed on the old and expect to thrive listen in this new space of Holy Ghost worship it's not the old it will take you longer you need to let it go and then embrace listen and then embrace this fully say embrace, embrace. This, this fully, fully. people like a mixture you know that right mm -hmm. they like mixtures they like a little bit of the old and a little bit of the new and guess where they get mm -hmm. nowhere mm -hmm. Holy Ghost worship removes you from the old quit going back there 
quit participating in that quit filling your ear with all of those old things mm -hmm. they don't worship him I've got a problem with that I have a problem with people who don't worship God the Holy Ghost God the Spirit thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve God is a spirit and they that worship him I've got an issue and a problem with people who don't go here it looks different to me now on this side I was on that other side with them before and I probably would have looked at someone like me and said ah he's in error but now I'm in the new and it's my turn to tear up the old are you here mm -hmm. can you hear that yeah. so in here in the room of Holy Ghost worship you are changed into something new something you weren't before and I would say having done this for years now that the biggest problem with people coming into this faith this Holy Ghost worship faith is a mixture trying to bring the old into this space with them and it doesn't work mixture won't work bring in a mixture and you lose boo if you go back you also lose mm -hmm. is this fun yet mm -hmm. the only way to win is to fully embrace this new faith in the living God who is the Holy Ghost that's what works listen to me that's what works what works this John chapter 6 verse 28 and they said unto him what shall we do that we might work the works of God see they want to know what works mm -hmm. Didn't you see that yeah. and Jesus he answered them verse 29 Jesus answered and said unto them this is the work of God that you believe on him whom he hath sent what works believing on him whom he hath sent now hang on what dispensation was this in when Jesus said that Jesus dispensation so at that time the disciples on the earth while Jesus was there would have had to listen to those words and say okay well we got to believe on Jesus because Jesus is the one that God sent mm -hmm. are you here yes. but what dispensation are you in you're in the Holy Ghost dispensation so now it's required of you in order to work the works of God to believe on him whom he hath sent who's the one that has been sent to us in the earth the Holy, the Holy Ghost I know you want to be in Jesus's dispensation but you're not get over it you're in the Holy Ghost dispensation and you believe on him the Holy Ghost that Jesus has sent that the Father has sent to be with you there are many things that I want to share with you that come from being in this room but you can't bear them now because you have to get the fundamentals of this faith straight first get it straight you are not in Jesus's dispensation you are not walking with Jesus Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father and shall return shall means he has not yet returned Jesus is not here does that surprise you but the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today and you walk with him and you do it by saying words does this make sense Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before say before before, before his translation he had something 
he had this testimony that he pleased God a testimony is something you say mm -hmm. so he had something that he would say mm -hmm. that pleased God mm -hmm. so his words the things he said were fundamental in his transformation yeah. verse 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him so we had Enoch saying things that pleased God and then it said without faith it's impossible to please God so without saying it would be impossible to please God saying faith pleases God without saying it's impossible to please God yeah. without saying faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he is must say in faith that he is are you getting this it's your said faith that he is that pleases God he is what this God we're talking about that we're walking with Holy Ghost he is God I say that he is God I say that the Holy Ghost is God have you ever heard me say that mm -hmm. say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. He, is he is God, God. you are saying faith mm -hmm. this is a faith that he hears and pleases him yeah. saying he is look at this uh, he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him you must say that he is a rewarder of you you must say that he is said faith and you must say that he's a rewarder of you these things please God without it you don't so you're saying he is and you're saying he is a rewarder of you so what does he reward you with what you said <laughs> your said faith is what you said he rewards you with and also glory because remember we go from one glory to the next and frankly that's how he 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 works all these things remember he is the one that works all things as he wills his willingness towards you multiplies greatly as you worship him and speak his words first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the living god trust in the living God who he's a who gives us richly all things to enjoy is the Holy Ghost God yes. is he the living God yes. does he give you richly all things to enjoy yes. yes and you should say so because that's how he rewards you is by your saying so are you getting this mm -hmm without said faith he's not pleased without said faith there's no reward mm. living God gives richly I like that word mm -hmm. richly all things to enjoy all things is all things yes. I'm making some very profound statements this evening the old is not the new the new is not the old all things is all things right how many things is all things all, all the things that would be all the things yeah. if I took all the things and I put them right there and I said those are all the things those are all the things right all things to enjoy living God gives me richly all things to enjoy living God only gives you all things what more do you have need of if you have all the things what more do you have need of none more none more things 
Holy Ghost only if living God Holy Ghost God in the earth today sent to be with you gives you richly all things what more do you have need of then don't give me a problem when I say Holy Ghost only mm. because he's all I need in the earth Holy Ghost only gives me richly all things if I have him I worship him I speak in agreement with him I have richly all things to enjoy and in this room he becomes your everything the longer you are in there the more you see this and if you haven't learned to enjoy being in here yet then you're still holding on to the old and to that degree you are limited you're held back or kept out to the all things that you can experience and have does that make sense mm -hmm. all things listen all things are to be found in this room of Holy Ghost worship if he gives you richly all things to enjoy he must have all things to enjoy to give you if the Living God the Holy Ghost has all things richly to enjoy and you were to look somewhere else you're not gonna find them anywhere else are you they're in this room this is where we're going all things are to be found in this room of Holy Ghost worship in this place say in, in. This, place. this place it's a place Haggai chapter 2 verse 6 for thus saith the Lord of hosts or the Lord of spirits yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heavens and the what the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory saith the Lord of Spirits verse 8 the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts the glory of this latter house I found this curious this week as I was meditating upon these verses of Scripture he said the silver is mine the gold is mine the glory is giving you an indication of how the silver and gold comes the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the Lord of Spirits and in this place will I give say in this place, in this place. Will, I will I give where is he gonna give in this place in this place will I give peace or prosperity saith the Lord of Spirits Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 the earth where's that here, here. yeah right here you're on the earth I'm on the earth where is the Holy Ghost he's with you and me the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord who is going to be a part of this last day covering of the earth with the knowledge of the glory of, of the Lord that's you that's me as we learn to walk with him and worship him and know him as God in the earth today pleasing him with spoken faith being rewarded by him with the glory that he has for us the earth shall be covered we worship you Holy Ghost and we thank you for this great and marvelous last day that we can be a part of we fully embrace it worshiping you and walking with you as God in the earth today Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I do worship you I fully embrace you as God in the earth today and I now go from one glory to the next glory to the next glory until the whole earth is covered in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost, your God.